Please remember that the complete information for the class that you are about to view is at elithecomputerguy.com. Not only do we have our videos there, but we have part lists, diagrams, pictures, and even complete code examples. So if you are watching this video and you want more information, please go to elithecomputerguy.com. Welcome back. As you know, I am Eli, the computer guy, and in today's class, I'm going to be showing you how to add a hyperlink into your HTML document. So hyperlinks are dealt with in the same tag fashion as just about everything else in the HTML world. You open a tag and you close a tag. Basically, whatever is in between, that is what gets turned into a hyperlink. Uh, so if you want a word turned into a hyperlink, you simply put the tags around that one word. If you want an entire paragraph to be a hyperlink, you put the, uh, the tags around that entire paragraph. Paragraph, or if you want something like an image to be a hyperlink, uh, you put the, the href tags around the entire image. Uh, the tag you're going to be using is something called the href tag. Basically, with the href tag, what you do is you call href, you then say wh where uh, the, the target is, basically where you want the person to jump when they click on the hyperlink. So whether you want it to be to an entirely different website or whether you want it to be to another HTML document within the same folder structure that you are, you put that there. Uh, and then you have what is called the target. So by default, the target means that when you click on the hyperlink, that the, the new web page that you're going to will simply open up uh, where the old web page is. So this is this is what you normally see with a hyperlink. So you click you click on a link, and the new page opens up, and the old page goes away. Well, there are are times when you might want uh, a new page to open up, but the old page uh, to remain where it was. Uh, so with that, you can use uh, an underscore blank as the target and basically what will happen there is when somebody clicks the hyperlink a new window or a new tab will open up and the old window will stay open so in this class we're going to be showing you how to do these hyperlinks again in the HTML world it's very easy you simply use uh, these a ref tags uh, and with that let's jump in so there's no real significant warning warnings today for this particular class. The main thing that you have to understand is how folder structure and navigation works uh, when you're when you're typing in uh, the path to whatever HTML file you want to open up. So basically, if you are opening up an HTML file that's in the same directory as the HTML document that, that the person is interacting with, uh, then you'll use period forward slash and then whatever that HTML document is. If you want to go to a document document that's in a lower folder you have to be able to, to put in the file path properly there if you want to put it if you want the person to go into a uh, a file that's in a directory above where you're at you have to understand how that works so that's really the only thing you have to understand is again basically the the very simple uh, file and folder navigation when you're typing everything out uh, beyond that the only thing you have to remember is if you are going to be linking to a website uh, so www.elithecomputerguy.com uh, you do have to put the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash or HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash in order to make that happen. If you don't do that, if you simply put www.elithecomputerguy.com or whatever the domain name is, uh, it will most likely, it should, it should fail for you. Maybe it might work in some circumstances, but it should fail. So if you're going to a website, do make sure you put that HTTP or HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash. And with that, let's go over to the computer and show you how this works. So here we are at my MacBook. Uh, again, in order to do any of these examples, all you need is a ba basic ASCII text editor. So if you're in the Windows world, you can use Notepad. If you're in the Mac world, you can use TextEdit. And if you're in the Linux world, you can use GEdit, Vim, Nano, whatever it is. Uh, the main thing that you just simply have to remember is when you do save the document to make sure the extension is either .htm or .html. Uh, that way, when you double click, uh, or basically you open up that document, it will open up in a web browser. That's the only thing you have to remember. Uh, so for here, I have three different examples of using the href tag in order to create hyperlinks. Uh, so what you'll notice is here we have the p tag, we have the p tag, uh, and then down here we actually have the image tag. So the first thing that you have to remember is you have to do your normal formatting for your HTML text, whether this is a heading, h1, h2, all the way down to h6, whether it's a p, whether it's an image, whatever else. Uh, first, you have to start with those tags. So with this, uh, what we're going to have here is P, and then we're going to say this is a normal link. 
And so for this one word, basically we want this one word link to be a hyperlink. And we want this link to point to www.elithecomputerguy.com. So basically all we do here is we open up this tag and we say a space ref equals double quotation marks and then the path of the website that we want to go to. And again, make sure it's the full path. HTTP or HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash and then www.elithecomputerguy.com uh, and then you close uh, with the double quotation marks. Uh, then you put whatever you want in between the tags. So with this, it's going to be a single word and that's going to be link. And then we are going to close that href tag. Again, remember to always close your tags. Uh, then beyond that for this, we are then going to close the P tag. So all of this will be within uh, one paragraph. And then this simple word here, this link word uh, will be what the hyperlink is. Again, open a tag, close a tag. Uh, then if we go down here, this is a little bit uh, different. Uh, so with this, uh, basically what I'm showing you is going to a file uh, that is sitting within the same uh, directory as as your hyperlink.html document. So um, I created this image.html document for one of the previous classes that I did. So basically we have a hyperlink.html that's sitting basically on my desktop and then image.html is also sitting on my desktop. So for this, when I create the, the hyperlink, I use href i don't have to put the whole https all of that in what i can do is i can simply reference it by period forward slash and then whatever that document is so image.html again we are going to make this a link we are then going to uh, close this we're going to close the, the the hyperlink tag uh, and this goes to another page basically within the same folder structure. Then the final example down here that I wanna show you is, is turning a, uh, an image into a hyperlink. So let's say you want to have pictures on your page and you want those pictures to be hyperlinks. You can do that too. Uh, so with this, uh, basically what you're going to do is you're going to have your, your image um, tag here. And so this is the image tag that I talked about in a previous class. So we're going to do IMG SRC equals, uh, and then we are going to basically show a picture on the page. So this, this picture is this picture down here. So it's in the same directory as this hyperlink.html document. So period forward slash picture dot JPG. Uh, and then I'm going to restrict the height to 300 pixels and I'm going to restrict the width to 300 pixels to make this small. So it fits on the page. And so this, this image is then going to be within the hyperlink tag. Uh, so we have a ref equals, and then again, HTTPS uh, colon forward slash forward slash www.elithecomputerguy.com. Uh, and then we close the double quotation marks there. But one of the things I also did here was I created a target. So for this target equals double quotation marks, and then we're going to say underscore blank. So basically when I click on this picture, it will open up www.elithecomputerguy.com, but it will open it up in an entirely different tab. Uh, so let's take a look at this uh, when we open this up with a web browser. So if I double click on um, hyperlink.html, this is the file that I've created. Uh, we can see that this is what the HTML looks like when a web browser actually opens it up. Uh, so this is a normal, and then you have link, link. So this is a normal link. So what we can see here is that that single word link is now the hyperlink. Then you say this link, so again, this link here goes to another page. And then what you can also, what you can notice is if I go over the image, you see how when I go over the image, my little, uh, my little cursor goes from being an arrow to being a hand. So that shows it's a hyperlink. So with this, uh, basically what we can do is this is a normal link. So that's going to take me to elithecomputerguy.com. Since we did not say what the target is, it will simply open it up in the same page, basically in the same window that I'm in. So if I click on this, we see it goes to elithecomputerguy.com, and so now elithecomputerguy.com has opened. Now I can go back, and so this link goes to another page. So for this, I wanna to go to this image.html document that I created before. So when I click on that, 
again within the same window within the same browser window uh, it has now opened up image.html so that's basically just opened up here so this is this is the type of hyperlink that you would create for things like menus basically navigation within your website and then the final thing to look at is if we go down here and we click on this image that i embedded uh, since that's a hyperlink what we'll notice this time when i click on it is see how See, the hyperlink.html tab remains open, but when I clicked on the, 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 the image as a link, it opened up elithecomputerguy.com in an entirely different tab. And so how you get that is, again, through the target equals, uh, and then you're going to put underscore blank here. There's actually a lot of things you can do with this target, um, but in general, uh, what most people use it for is simply to be blank. Uh, then beyond that, again, just to kind of show you that all of this is just using, you know, normal standard HTML tags, right? So if I wanted this to be H1 for some reason, let's say I wanted that to be heading, I can go here and again, change all of that to heading. I do file, I do save, I go here and I can refresh. So just, just so you can see, like for some, pe for some reason, people may think that maybe H1 can't have links in it, but no, in fact, H1 can, can be a link just like P can be. Um, and again, uh, if you're looking at it and you're thinking about uh, maybe you don't want a single word uh, to be the hyperlink, maybe you want the whole sentence, uh, what I can do is something like this. So I can just do control X and then I can do control V. So now again, anything within the opening and the closing of the href tag, that will be turned into a link. So I can do file, I can do save. I uh, come back here, I do a refresh, and now we can see that the entire sentence is a link. Again, if I click on that, obviously it goes to elithecomputerguy.com. So that's a basic understanding of how these hyperlinks work. Um, again, when you're gonna be pointing to a different website, do make sure you keep the HTTP or HTTPS. Um, and if you're pointing to a file or something within, within your own web server, do make sure you understand how that file and folder directory system works. Uh, beyond that, again, uh, if you don't have a target, if you don't say what the target is, then the, the link will simply open within whatever page with whatever uh, browser window you're in. If you put a target equals underscore blank, then the, the, the whatever link that, that you've clicked on, that will open up in a different tab or window, depending on what your settings are within the browser. So that's all we're looking at with these hyperlinks. So that's all there is uh, to putting hyperlinks into your HTML document. Again, all you're using is that href tag. Uh, you're saying where that href tag is pointing to. Uh, then you dump whatever you want to be the hyperlink in. You close the href tag and there you go. And now you have a hyperlink. Again, if you're gonna be pointing to a website, make sure you remember HTTP or HTTPS. If you're gonna be pointing to a file uh, within your own directory, make sure you understand how that file structure actually works. And then and again, if you want a page to open up, um, but the, the, the current page to stay open, then you use target underscore blank. And so that will open up the hyperlink in a new window or a new tab. Um, and so that can be useful from a navigation standpoint, where if you don't want people to lose track of where they are in your website, you can have it open up in a blank. Uh, so that's what I try to do a lot on elidecomputerguy.com. So if I'm pointing you off site, uh, of elithecomputerguy.com to somewhere else, most of the time I will have that open up in a blank, so open up in a new tab or a no, new window. That way, uh, you don't lose where you're at on elithecomputerguy.com. You can go, you can take a look at wherever you've gone, and then you can close that out and go back to where you are. So again, this is an important thing to be thinking about, again, in the programming, the coding world. Think about the usability of your site and how you want people to interact with your site. If you don't care if people lose their place on your website, website, then don't worry about the target. When they click, they go off to somewhere else. That's fine. Um, on the other hand, again, if you're doing like an educational website or some kind of reference website and you're linking to things off of your site, you may want that to open up in a blank. That way somebody can go, they can read whatever you're talking about, and then they can go back to your site and they haven't lost uh, their place. Just some of the basic things to be thinking about. So that's basic navigation uh, using hyperlinks and HTML documents. As always, I enjoyed doing this class. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. 
If you like the content that I create, please think about going to elinethecomputerguy.com and becoming a member or donating. Please understand that all the educational videos are in front of the paywall. That includes the videos, that includes the notes, the diagrams, and the code example. All of that is freely available and in front of the paywall. But if you want to watch opinion videos or if you want to be able to comment, you do need to become a member. Membership is $5 a month or $60 a year and gives you access to those opinion videos and the ability uh, to comment. If you don't want to become a member, you just want to give a one-time uh, donation, there is also a donate button where you can do that. Please understand, in order to provide the education that I am, it does cost money. Servers cost money, equipment costs money, travel costs money. All of these things cost a reasonable amount of money. And the fact of the matter is, is YouTube's advertising program no longer supports creators the way that it used to. So if you want to these classes to continue to stick around and you find them to be valuable, please think about either becoming a monthly member or donating a few dollars for this project.